Hi everyone, this is Jessica with fulfilledandabundant.com and today I get the amazing pleasure of sharing Linda Edmiston with you. Linda is incredible, so I'm really excited for this conversation. You can check her out at lindaedmiston.com. She's a life and business coach and I have a short bio that I wrote out and I think it's important to share with you guys. So Linda knows a ton about business and she knows that it doesn't have to feel so hard. She helps creative, service-oriented and sensitive women spend more time working with their clients to feel confident in showing up as their amazing entrepreneur that they truly are. She has helped me as well. Linda helps her clients become more profitable and to grow in their business in less time and effort so that they can do more of what they love. She sinks the heart and the mind and she gives accountability and implementation support so that you can make sure to get the things that you need to done. She provides coaching, inspiration, and when doubts or fears come up, Linda is there to support you with a do it with you method that is actually really rare for coaches. Coaches do not always side by side help you along. Linda helps all of her clients thrive. How are you today, Linda? I'm fabulous. I loved that intro. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, I love being my client's hands, right? We do it, everything together, but it's like it's their dream and my skills. And so it makes it just dreamy. Like it makes it so easy for everybody and we can have fun and it just it's an interesting way because you're right. I've taken so many classes and work with so many people that they're like, here's your five steps. And then they go away. Except <laughs> step two, you're like, but I don't, if I'm not, if I don't understand it, how do I do it? So like, that's just such a not, that's not my way. So I'm glad you, and it was fun working with you. Yes. So Linda did my website review and it was incredibly helpful when she was, the first time I heard Linda speak was actually through a group called Soulful Speakers that we got to know each other pretty well. And when I heard her speak, I was like, I need Linda. <laughs> <laughs> so I did a website, website review with her and the feedback was just amazing. I was blown away. And they were all things that I had looked at millions of times, but I didn't know it mattered. I didn't notice it. I didn't understand how to change it. So I think a lot of times when you don't understand how to change something, your mind just glosses over and doesn't see it. Right. Well, I think too. So like, that's one of the offerings that I have, right? I have um, that I'll do this website review, this audit, and it is when you have it created the website, it's easier to see it, right? I have a very neutral viewpoint. And so it's easy for me to see, oh, this, this would enhance it. Or I'm just an editor at, at heart. Like I can, I just see things that aren't linked right or isn't, aren't working. And, you know, our websites really are our business cards, right? It's really to show like we are what we're doing and, and easy ways for people to connect with us. That's it. And so your website was incredible. I mean, you had worked so hard on it and there was just some small things that needed to be tweaked and doing so really has enhanced what you're offering. Mm -hmm. So I think it's such a, an important thing. So, you know, I offer that and I offer as we get further on, my other offering is um, a power hour. So it's your be your boss. <laughs> so we'll talk about that later, but yeah, I do have favorite. a question because I loved that. So I, I have a question about being your boss. Yes. Yes. So let's start off with your genius zone, because that's yeah. your expertise is getting people to their genius zone. Right. So what is the genius zone? So for me, that genius zone is that in place where you're like innate talent and your passions meet. And it is, 
I, it took me a while to recognize my own genius zone, but we all have one. And it's simple once you see it, but it's not always easy to actually realize it. Because like, it's simple because we take it for granted. It's so natural. It's a part of who we are, right? And we assume because it's easy for us that it's easy for everybody else. Mm -hmm. And when we do that, we don't value it. I mean, this is where we are always doing things, you know, maybe for our friends or strangers, because you just think, well, it, I enjoy doing it. So why should I get paid? <laughs> but the truth is you can't find your genius zone just by like sitting around thinking about it. It's doing, it's like really looking about how you're doing, what you're doing, how you're being with your family and your friends. Mm. And I have an exercise later on, if we have time, that will help us start to dive into our genius zone. But when you find that, you just enjoy what you're doing more. Mm. Yeah, that's very powerful. So, okay, we're definitely going to get to the exercise because I want to make sure that people are able to get to their genius zone. And how did you find yours? So my experience started, I've, I've been corporate for 20 plus years doing finance and sales and technology. And I traveled, I moved seven times in 11 years. So I had different industries and different jobs, like constantly. So I became an expert at quickly learning like new software, new systems. But I always, no matter what, like within a few weeks, I would be like, oh, well, here's a different way. This might be better. And I would be streamlining all these processes, which is why then I would get promoted and then I would move again. And so I just took that. That's just how I think. And so I was 2008 and I had been living in San Diego for a while, which I love. I'm so grateful to be here. And I was working so hard. I was building a brand new budget system. It was a billion dollar system and just really killing myself. I was working like 70 hour work weeks, but I was making a lot of money, right? <laughs> Those golden handcuffs. And, but I was miserable. But how could I complain? I lived in San Diego and I was making a lot of money because it's not what we want. Like we say, like, if I could just make more money, then I'll be happy. Mm. So I couldn't complain. And one of my coworkers, Tom, was just awesome. So Tom had this like huge heart and he was just the happiest person I've ever met. And he brought just joy. He, his soul was happy. And I had never met anybody like him, right? He was like my little brother. And one day, Tom didn't come to work. And he had passed away the night before from a freak asthma attack. Oh my God. Yeah. And he was 28 years old. Oh my God. So that was such a blow because I'd never lost anyone, you know, mm -hmm. like that. And it, I hadn't realized what a core he was in my life. Mm -hmm. And I knew that if I, I, I needed to change, like, this is how short life can be. Like, it was such a wake up call. Mm. And that living like in misery is, even though so many people do that thinking this is just the way life is, there is something more. So I, I dove into like self-development. I started you know, and going to the life coach. Like I was getting life coached. I traveled. I went to China. Like my life expanded and I like really became a different person. Like I was happy. I was still working in corporate, but I was like, I wasn't stressed out. I wasn't as you know, worried about that small stuff. Mm -hmm. I ended up getting a two-year coaching certificate to be an advanced life transform coach because I, I saw the power of life coaching. And so I started working with people and I actually left my corporate job and all of my coaching clients, like it lit me up to see the transformation they had. And this is where the genius zone starts to show up is because I was also like, oh, you have a tax question? Oh, let's talk about your finances. How is your budgeting? Let's, everything that I just know and I've studied started coming out. I would help some people with their divorces. Like, let's look at your, 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 your income and the investments and make sure that when you go with your lawyer, you are giving them the right information so that you're not taken advantage of. Mm -hmm. And then it was like, oh, well, can you, I have a question about my business. Can you help me with that? Okay. 
And it literally naturally became me helping more people with their businesses and women creatives and coaches and healers who are so intuitive and they have such amazing dreams and vision. They have trouble though, putting it in concrete, right? I ground them. So I can, under because I love self-development and transformation, I get when they're talking about angels or energy, or I meditated last night and had this download and I'm like, really wonderful. <laughs> Other coaches, yeah. business coaches are like, no, we need to do the research on how many people ha- are in that industry and how much money they make. Hmm. Why does it matter? Right. We have to, but I ground it. So I'm not letting you go, okay, well, I'm just going to talk in this airy fairy language. It's like, yeah, but what are you bringing to your clients? What is the transformation? Let's talk about that and let's put it into all of these systems. But it was this interesting thing that this, my, this is why I love talking about the genius zone, because in the beginning, I would have said, you know, when I look back, I go, well, obviously because a corporate, oh, I was doing this naturally, but I would never have translated this corporate work into small businesses ever. And there's the aspect of the life coaching that is necessary because we're human. Hmm. So I, I, and I think for a long time, and this is what a lot of people do too, when they're not knowing that they're not in their genius zone is they try to put themselves in one lane and they say, I am going to be this and anything that doesn't match that they ignore. But what if your genius zone is this merging of it? And that's what, it's the best of me. So I'm able to merge both sides of me and bring all of me. So there's so much joy. We laugh. Like one of my clients, actually, that's what they tell me. I love working with you because you make it fun. (laughs) And I'm like, and who would have thought you could talk about business and be fun? Mm. Taxes. Ha 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 ha. Taxes are not fun for me. So that bringing laughter to that would be very amazing. Right. That's amazing. Okay. So how do we find our genius zones? Mm, Okay. So let's dive into this. So this short exercise. Do we need a pen and paper? Yes. Get a pen and paper. Thank you. (laughs) And what I want you to think about is we cannot, it's hard for us to see. Remember I talked about how it's really hard to see ourselves. Mm. Uh, One of the analogies I know one of my mentors uses, you can't see the label from inside the bottle. Right. So who we are is other people need to reflect back to us, what they see in us, which then if you really listen and do not push it away and don't ignore it or like, oh yeah, 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 whatever. I mean, six years ago, so uh, I was working with a woman in her business, but she was my life coach. I was just helping her. <laughs> and she said, you need to work with people, women with systems. And I was like, I don't even know what you're talking about. You're crazy. <laughs> and literally six years later, I'm talking to her and literally the language I'm using is I'm working with women in their business on their systems. And she's like, I'm sorry. I just, I, I, I reflected you six years too early. You weren't ready to hear it yet. But when you're ready, you really want to listen to what people have to say. So that's where this exercise came from. Mm. So the first thing is you're going to either, you know, individually do not do this in some random mass email or mass Facebook messenger, right? You want to be very specific to the people so they know that you're actually asking for true feedback and not, you know, like, oh, I'm doing a survey. That's not going to get you the deepest answers. Right. So email, Facebook, LinkedIn, like however you can connect with your friends and you want to think through this list, almost like work people, people you've worked with in the past, currently working with friends, neighbors, uh, if you're in any organizations or any classes, like who do you meet that are going to see you from like these different areas in your life? because we show up a little bit differently. Some, some parts of us show up differently, depending on it, on the organization or where you're at. Right. And the deeper part tends to show up the same. And what we're looking for is, is what's that sameness. 
in our head, we say, well, I show up differently for like a, a corporate job than I would if I'm meditating, right? But there's actually an element of you, right? That's your genius in there. So, and I also don't, don't do your family. <laughs> they are biased. They either see you through just rose colored glasses or their own stuff gets in the way of them, you, them seeing you. Mm. So it's just one of those things like save yourself a lot of heartache and you're not really going to get the right connection anyways. So once you pick like maybe five to 10 people, like make your list and really sit with them and really feel in, are these the right people that will give me honest feedback? And you're going to ask them, please be very honest, right? And this is why it's a one-to-one -one conversation. Like, and, and you can call, I mean, you can call them too, right? But you want to put it in writing for them to have these two questions. So there's really two questions that we're going to ask. So we want to write these down. Okay. First one is, how would you describe my energy when I enter a room or if you're just like in my presence? The second question is, when have you seen me at my best? Mm. What was I doing? What was I being? And what was I saying? So if you even just feel any of those questions, right, it's actually what's important is where do you get excited? Where are you lighting up? Mm. And where are people drawn in, right? Um, those questions allow people to go, oh yeah, well, I always come to you with this kind of questions or I love it when you always do this when I'm sad or, and it's incredible because that's really the underlining thing. And then once some, you won't get, not necessarily everybody will answer you, which is kind of why you want to kind of have a bigger group, but you do want to phrase it in a way like you really, and you really have to honor this. If they say something that, I'm not that you need to take it and really sit with it. And you, because you want that honest feedback, right? right? And then those people that do answer you, call them up and have a deeper conversation. Really like dig into, well, what do you mean by that? Can you tell me more? And when you sit and then you read and you write all this up, and right, and then you actually read it all through. And when you start to read five to 10 of these, you really start to see like everyone says for me. So mine was you light up a room. Mm. I feel so peaceful when you're around, even when I'm excited in my high energy, they, the energy though is like grounded peace and support. They said, you always have, like, you know, so much Leonard, like no matter what the topic is, you're like, oh, I know something about that which is what I do with my clients. Cause I'm like, everyone is so different. My clients run the gamut. I have somebody who works in the Marine industry, like um, boats. I have coaches. I have a business coach. I have somebody doing a nonprofit. I just, we just worked through a, a whole system with somebody who's creating retreats mm -hmm. because it's not about that. It's about the energy they're wanting to bring. They wanted to bring their whole selves and their joy and their excitement into whatever they're their website is. So I do a lot of website design, basic websites. Like, I'm going to be honest, I'm not <laughs> going to have butterflies floating around your website, but I'm going to do it in a way that you can make changes. So you're not dependent upon me. Um, I'm not a fan of WordPress. I know that's how you created yours, but it's no, I mine was weekly. Right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, it, but WordPress is a lot of people get sold on WordPress. The truth is it's just really hard. It's hard to maintain and I'm about ease and grace. Mm -hmm. And when you make a couple hundred thousand dollars a year and you can hire a team to maintain, that's what you do. But my clients are starting their businesses, right? They're, um, or they've been in business maybe five years, but they really haven't been treating it. They didn't know how to treat it like a real business. They thought they were, but it was really done like a hobby, right? So. And that gets why the, the boss session that we talked about a little bit. Yeah. 
So let's talk about what does BOSS state because I love your acronym. So what is the BOSS session? So the BOSS session is a business optimization strategy session, right? But I like this be your own BOSS because when you know what you, when you have all the systems in place, and let me just start with that because I think that's, it's, I have another acronym. It's those things that lifts your business. <laughs> Legal, insurance, financial, taxes, and then back office systems, which for me include websites, um, schedulers, and things like that. But you need all of those pieces, like how are you doing your banking? How are you doing your contracts? How are you doing your taxes? Like, how are you organizing your accounting? Like, I'm not going to help you do your taxes, but I'm going to organize you so that when you're getting your expenses, you're tracking them in a way that when it's tax time, you can give either yourself, if you're using something like TurboTax or your, C or your bookkeeper, literally like a document that's like, here's the buckets for my expenses, but here's my income. I'm assuming you're going to show what you're going to match this because you're taking control of your business that at any point in time, can you imagine like any point, any month, you could click on the accounting system and you could see how much profit you are at. Mm. No calculations, no weird stuff, just literally like, and I'm all about the profit, right? It's like, you can make $100,000, but if you have $999,000 in expenses, you made a dollar. <laughs> That's not profitable right? We want you to make bottom line profit. And I'm all about that. So that's what I love to bring to my clients because I bring them into how do we monetize your business as quickly as possible. Mm. Yeah, that's important because without that, you don't have very much to work with. Exactly. So, okay. The boss. So how long is that strategy session? So that strategy session is it's, it's an hour. Sometimes we go a little over and, but we go through all of the different areas of your business and what do you have? What don't you have? What are you missing? And I really will give you, you end up with a, a checklist of, not even a checklist, literally a, this is what you need to set up. Mm. And so you're not walking away with just a vague idea like, oh yeah, you should organize your expenses. No, I'm going to tell you, here's a system that you could use. Mm. Right. And then at that point, right, that's where you can go off and do it yourself. Right. Because there's people that are like, cool, I just needed to know what to do. And then they can feel free to do that. And other people are like, okay, I can do, you know, A and B, but gosh, I have no idea how to do C and D. And then, you know, that's where I can, I come in. So everybody I work with, you know, if they're my client, it's very unique. It's everything is customized because not everybody needs, you know, you know, soup to nuts, right? A to Z. Some people need the middle part, the end part, the first part. And it's about bringing it all together so that there's ease. Yeah. And you did help me with that because you suggested Calendly and I didn't know how to use that system. And you walked me through it. And then I set it up and I'm very happy with what I have now. Yeah. So that's a scheduling system. Right. And it wasn't it easy. Like once you actually got it set up versus how you were trying to do it through email and, and calling people and setting up appointments, like the, the streamlining and the amount of time, how much time do you think you save now when you do not have to manually schedule people? Yeah, probably at least an hour a week. And how much money, because that's going to bring more clients to you because they don't have to jump through a hoop. People like our clients want ease, mm, yeah. you know, and I think our job really is to, to stop any hurdles. Yeah. The that's big... a lot of times we put a lot of hurdles in people's way, not knowing because we're trying to like give them 27 options and we want to be so graceful and like, but I'll do anything and bend over backwards. But the client is saying, but I just kind of want easy. Tell me what my next step is. Right. Yeah. That was the biggest thing for me with the scheduling system was it was easy. Just, okay, here you go. Here's link. It's fun. 
Nice. I love that. Yeah. And I was reading your website and I saw you were talking about the business foundations. What are the business foundations? Oh, <laughs> So this is where, I'm sorry, your mind might go blah, 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 and glaze over. But this is kind of going back to the legal and this financial. So legal bucket, right, is the legal and the insurance. That's contracts. That's, are you wanting to be a solar partner or an LLC? Or are you making enough money that you need to be, you know, more of a corporation? And then you've got the financial side, which is going to be, how are you invoicing? How are you receiving payment? Are you doing it in the way that you have the least amount of fees? What are the fees that you're paying in order to collect money? And the taxes and the, and the accounting, right? So those are those foundations. And when you think about foundations, I want you to think about it like this. If I ask you, would you rather build a house on the sand or on rock? Yeah, on rock. Right. And, and that's the same with our business, right? A lot of times we don't do those tests because we think we, I'm not, somebody literally told me yesterday, I'm not making enough money to have a separate business bank account. And I will just, that's right there is your tip for the, have a separate business bank account. Mm -hmm. She had made $5,000. And I was like, well, you should have a new business bank account before you make a dollar you've made $5,000 and you don't have a separate bank account. And let me tell you why that's important. I have a client. She is a life coach and she had been a life coach for 10 years. She's an amazing healer. Amazing. But because she was, oh, I love everyone and I trust everyone and everyone is good, which most people are. Most, yeah. But... So she did not have a contract. She did not have a separate bank account. She did not have anything legally like making it be that she had a legitimate business mm. according to the law, right? A judge looks at, if you get somebody wants to sue you, right? A judge is really looking at, did you operate your business like a business or did you operate it like it was a hobby? If it was a hobby, you have hardly any legal protection. You operate and like, oh, well, you have a bank account. You do it this way. You don't commingle. You, you do all of these like check marks that we go through to make sure you understand it. And, oh, you have a business. If she, so she got sued. Oh. The woman somehow managed to lock up her bank account, but she was her, everything was going to the same place. So she had no money. It took the bank three months to release her funds. She had to borrow money from everyone she knew, literally to pay rent, to buy food. Think about it. If you had no access to any of your money for three months, what would you do? My God. Yeah. Right? And so it took her three years. Like, and she lost the case because they were like, well, you say you're life coaching, but you don't have a contract. You don't, you didn't say it was non-refundable. You didn't say, you know, protections around like, I am not a medical professional. Right. Mm. And so it took her three years because she had, and you got to remember, it's not just the financial, like you get the hit. And like, even if you were like, oh, I've got a husband, I got spouse, I got money. It's fine. I can recoup my loss. Right. Mm -hmm. It was the emotional hit because so she really felt betrayed, but she had betrayed herself. So she was like, I actually did this to myself. And so it took away a lot of her confidence. So it took her three years to kind of do the inner work and to build up the money again to pay back everybody that she had borrowed from plus pay continuously her current expenses. It's really hard to get out from behind. So she worked with me and we set it all up. I mean, after the fact, right. But now she's like peace of mind is her biggest thing. Mm -hmm. Right. So that's why it's important. And those foundations give you that rock solid foundation so that you can grow because this is the start you wrote right now. It's like, well, what we're setting up is so that if you make double your money, nothing else changes. Like right. you can still operate. Not things double change if you, you know, things change when you start to make like say 200,000. That's usually like a good number that, okay, you might want to start looking about some different things with a CPA. And, but that's a long way for most people. If you think, I'm not talking about gross receipts, I'm talking about net. 
right? So there's, you can see most people operate. I mean, uh, the minimum eight, I, I read something with self-employed minimum wage to be $120,000 a year. Because you're paying for your own insurance, you're paying for your retirement, you're paying for things that you get from a company, right? Mm -hmm. So that really is a really, a good, not overly rich, but a really good solid, like you don't have to worry about money, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So how do we get you there? That's the whole point is like, we want to make a solid foundation so that you can grow from making $5,000 a year to making $120,000 a year. And part of it for me is, if you don't have the base, how do you do anything, right? Like a car, you can, whether you're driving a, a Yugo or a Mercedes, if you don't have tires, a good frame, like it doesn't matter. That's the base of the car. Then you get the bells and whistles, right? But they're really the same thing. They're both cars, right? You have the car first before we enhance it. I love that. That's very powerful. And yeah, please check out Linda because she is, she's great at what she does. And there's, you just don't know what you don't know. Right. Yeah. That, that is true. That's what actually a lot of people are surprised by because they like, they'll come. That's why I have that review instead of just saying, okay, well, do you, would you like me to help you with your business or not? I really want you to like, you need to know whether or not you need my services. Mm. And I, so I don't want to have it be where it's, you don't know what you don't know. I want you to know what you now need. Like, I want you to have that education. I am huge on the education of what you need. So you do not have to get taken advantage of by other programs. I, so many people get caught up in the, like the marketing and the sales, like all these, like the shiny object syndrome, right? Like, oh, oh, they said, I'll make, I'll double my money if I have Facebook ads, or if I learn how to write a book, or if I, what's my marketing technique? And it's like, yeah, but you don't, you're not ready for someone to say yes. Hmm. So why are you worried about how to get more people in if you can't handle one client right now mm -hmm. in a way that is financially and legally protecting you? Mm. right you do that and then you can once you're comfortable with that and you're like oh I have this automated system I know I have the contract I know how to get it signed I collect the money very easily it's all you know I have all these systems in place now I can go from having one client to five clients and oh I want to change it to a group program a small tweak everything else still works yeah. right so that's what I want for my clients is that peace of mind and that um that confidence and it's not it's not just for even creatives like that is a huge nut part of my business those people that are like oh god please <laughs> must you use the word business right I just <laughs> want to talk to my clients I just want to do transformation I just want to do healing can I just work with them yes I want to and that's why getting you that's your genius zone right mm -hmm. so for you, that intuition and you, your art of presence and what you bring to the table and like, well, would you rather spend 90% doing that and 10% in your business or 90% trying to figure out the business side and that only leaves you 10% for your clients? Yeah. I love what you do. So do you have any promotions or events coming up? So I don't have any events right now. Okay. Um, and yeah, it's interesting because I have just been working with clients and also traveling and I want to go to Europe this fall. So it's this having, this is why we want to create up these systems for people. That's another reason mm -hmm. is it gives you more flexibility in where you're working because if everything is online, everything is not like, oh, I've got to do this on a piece of paper in my office. It is set up that you could access it no matter where you go. You can send a, you, you're on vacation somewhere and you talk, you have conversations, right? Cause it's over the phone or it's over Zoom over your phone. And they're like, yes, yes, yes. I want to work with you. And you say, okay, I can send you the contract. And you literally can do it from your phone. And you didn't have to be like, oh, well, um, I got to go home. And then I got to fax you a, contract and then you need to fax it or scan it back and then 
Like that's so old school. We don't need it. That's, but it's effort. Right? Yeah. And we don't want to do that. You know, we want to have this way of bringing people to us, engaging them, having the conversations and every single one of my clients, as soon as we get it set up, as soon as we have this, where they, they kind of go, ah, oh, I feel confident. I love my website or I, I, I love having the scheduler. They immediately start sharing a hundred times more than they did before. Mm. Um, think about it like this. Okay. So you have a messy house. Yeah. Somebody knocks on your door. You stand like in the door frame and you're like, hi, <laughs> no. Oh, you can't. Yeah. I'm just busy. Well, you're not letting them in. And then they come in, if they do come in, you're apologizing. Oh, I'm sorry about this. I'm sorry about the mess. You just don't sit down with them confidently and calmly and have this great conversation. And we do that with our business. We think we're reaching out. We think we're networking. But if you are like, yeah, but I don't want anybody to know that I don't have my stuff together. Because you feel it. You just don't feel confident. Mm -hmm. If you don't feel confident, you don't ask for the right pricing. Mm -hmm. You will underprice yourself. Guaranteed. Um, actually I just had a client yesterday. We finished up her retreat website. Everything was good to go. We were finishing the contract and she was, she had just sent it out just to a group of people, just like, Hey, check this out. See if you see any errors. Right. And somebody was like, I want to do it. I want to do this retreat. And she calls me and she's like, well, well, ah, we don't, I don't even have my pricing. I'm like, okay, let's sit down with pricing. Cause she hadn't wanted to do it earlier. Right. So she was like, Oh, it's $3,500. And I was like, okay, we'll stop. Let's figure out your expenses. Let's figure out the time. How much is it? You're going to, it's all inclusive. So how, let's go through breakfast, lunch, dinner, transportation, like all of the math. Mm -hmm. And it was like, okay, it literally costs you $2,000 for some, everything that you're offering is going to out of pocket, not like fake my energy. No, 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 actual dollars. Mm -hmm. So how much do you want to make? What do you think your time is worth for five full days? Like she's with them, like literally like 18 hours a day. Yeah. Intense. She changed her pricing to 5,000. Good. And then she had a conversation with the woman and the woman was like, yes. Great. So she would have said it 3,500 if she hadn't known and really one thought it through and had somebody to strategize with her. Mm -hmm. And also kind of like, do you see, like when we laid it out on the website, she could really see what she was offering. Like when she got it out of her head, She's like, dang, that's a lot. Yeah, right? And it wasn't overpriced. It wasn't being greedy. It was like, but this is your time and effort and your energy and wow. Yeah. Right? So that's what it does for people. It's like, it changes how they think. And what if you could charge, even if you charge an extra 25% more because you now feel comfortable, that get, it starts to change who you are. It starts to change how you talk about your business. Mm. because you feel more legit, right? When we undercharge, we're like, oh, it's only worth $50. Is that okay? Yeah. And then we're like, no, actually the session is 150. Yeah. It changes in, and the person goes, oh yeah, absolutely. Right. But you will have more complaints and more pushback when you're like, well, maybe, uh, maybe 50, mm. right? Your energy is like, please, yeah. right? Versus like, I know my worth. So right. that's what we play with. And it's so important. So it all kind of comes together so that you go from this messy house to this very picked up house with a strong foundation that you can just go out in the world with. Yeah. So you take care of the back end logistics. So, and then that opens up energy that was previously tied up and, and you, re you help people like release it. It's, it's like doing emotional work, you know, or shadow work, but it's, you know, the back end logical business things. And then people just feel lighter and then they naturally step more into who they are. Yeah. And they're coming back into their genius though, right? And they bring right. more of themselves because, right. and that's why I love the fact that I came from a background of life coaching too, mm. so that I can help support you in that when I can see that it's, there is something there. Like mm -hmm. who told you that that's too expensive, right? right? Or that, And so it's like, we can clear that. So then it opens up and it becomes this joy to talk about. 
And I can feel that lightness, like you said, like it does. I never thought of it about it, but it is that weight. When we don't feel confident, that's a weight. It's like a bag we're carrying. It's like, oh, can we set it down? And then it allows us like open our heart more and, you know, and come into more of our presence. Yeah. Which is then like what you do. Like you bring those people into their presence. And it's like, oh. And that's such a good place to, it feels so good when yeah. you're in that space and life is magical. I love it. So if someone is like, yes, Linda's amazing. How do I sign up? What is their <laughs> next step? Yes. They can just go to lindaedmiston.com and I'm sure it'll be in the comment section of the, the, video and yeah just let's have a conversation there's a 30 minute just virtual coffee and we'll just chat and just kind of see where you're at and it's just a way to to know what is your next step that's all what I'm about I just want people to succeed I want women business owners to start succeeding more than they are now because we haven't been taught and actually for, depending on how old you are, you really, we have, as women have gotten a lot of bad messages mm-hmm. because we've been kind of said, we're not good at this mm-hmm. and we don't want that. We will, it's like, let's stop living from this idea that we can't do money. We are oh, not good. With, oh, I'm not good with numbers. I'm not it. And I even like, when I say like, you might go blah, blah, blah to me. That's still, that's the old pattern of like, why would I do that? It's your business. Don't allow yourself to ignore something because you don't understand it. Let's learn how to understand it. So you step into your power. Yeah. That's what I want for my clients and for everyone. So thank you for letting me share here today. Thank you. I'm so excited to share you with everybody. (laughs) So thank you, Linda. I so appreciate your time. Again, check out lindaedmiston.com and it will be in the comments and we'll see you next time.